Hi. Today we're looking at the pap paper from 2012 and going through question 3. So question 3 asks us to evaluate the sum from r equals 1 to 8 of 2 plus 4 to the r. So if you haven't had a go at this already, I would please advise you to have an attempt to do it. So, what we do is we realise that summation is linear. So what that means is we can split this into two sums. So we can split this into the sum from r equals 1 to 8 of 2 plus the sum from r equals 1 to 8 of 4 to the r. Well, this is equal to, well, clearly the sum from r equals 1 to 8 of 2 is just going to be 8 times 2. It's just 2 added up 8 times. Plus, well, this is going to be when r equals 1, 4, plus when r equals 1, 4 times 4, 4 squared, plus 4 cubed, plus dot, 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 plus 4 to the 8. Okay, we're equal to 16, and now we notice that this is a geometric sequence with ratio 4. Each term differs from the previous one by 4. And then we know that the sum of our geometric sequence is the first term into the ratio to the power of n minus 1 over the ratio minus 1. So here we have our ratio is 1, is 4, sorry, so r equals 4. And in fact, u1, our first term, is also 4. So we sub this in, we get u1, 4, into, well, 4 to the 8 minus 1 over 4 minus 1, 3. So this is equal to 48 plus 4 times 4 to the 8, 4 to the 9, minus 4 over 3, which is 44 plus 4 to the 9 over 3. Now, you'd never be expected to evaluate this sum because it's too large, but this comes out to give you 87,396. And that's the answer.